We're moving through the night like we're from a different star. Flying over streets and our broken hearts. But they can't even touch us, we found a different beat. Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead. Hello everybody, how's it going? Good to see you, good to see you, good to see you man. I'm happy you could all be here, happy everybody here. And happy and I'm sorry about that. Huge flare up and volume. Oh man, that sucks. Anyway, oh yes, all is well in the world. How, how is everyone? How are y'all all? How are y'all? How are y'all? Uh, so yeah, man, we still got some lottery tickets to scratch off tonight, and, uh, the same ones that we, uh, we got from last night, to uh, the same stack, and then, uh, we also, Mrs. B went out and, uh, actually got us some, some bigger lottery, some other lottery tickets, I'm kind of excited about this one, so the Red Hot Riches, uh, let me show it to you, Red Hot Riches, and, uh, you can win up to $200,000, uh, it's got, uh, it's got a, uh, get a $100 symbol, you get an instant 100 bucks. that'd be nice, get a hot symbol, you win that prize, match you your number, so it's a number of symbols game. Uh, we've had good luck on the Red Hot Doublers, and, uh, then we got tickets number, uh, like, two through six, I think, on the, uh, Jumbo Lottery. Uh, but, of course, we are not here to uh, talk about lottery tickets right now. We're here to talk about Zelda and Breath of the Wild. So, Mrs. B is a keeper. Oh, she's awesome. Hey, Bruce, how are you, man? Uh, hey, so... <clears throat> so, uh, Mrs. B uh, was going to actually go to the P.O. Box today and uh, pick up that package, uh, but uh, we uh, had another thing that we had to take care of. So, uh, she's going to try to stop on the way home tomorrow and pick that up. Um, uh, and if that doesn't work, then, uh, we're going to try to go out tomorrow afternoon and pick up that package. Um, I haven't checked the tracking, but, uh, I'm just, uh, making the assumption that it's there and waiting. So, uh, I do thank you so very much. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed this game. Uh, it's a fun game. And, uh, we got all of the, uh, the platforming stuff done, uh, yesterday, uh, that are all of the shrines. So, now, today... We're going to pretty much just figure out, like, what's beyond the plateau, you know? So, cheers, guys. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Here we are. 
Everyone, I hope you're all well this evening. I gotta change this over to the uh, TV so we can get game audio in. <laughs> and welcome to all the members, welcome to all the supporters, welcome to all the subscribers, welcome to everybody that doesn't know me. My name's Sean, this is Backseat Girl Productions, and you're probably actually getting a lot of, um, A lot of echo because I had my uh, computer turned up way high. Uh, T-shirt is being replaced, so you know. They wrote you. Oh, very good. Very good. Did you uh, tell them about the calibration issues on their ink? Because that's what's the problem I've ran into. Is they just, they're, uh, they're a great company. Um, I truly, truly stand behind their company. In fact, okay, shameless self-promotion time. I'm, I'm terrible at this, okay? So you got you know you know me. You know me and I see I see an opportunity. So I take advantage of the opportunity. I've got a uh, a BGP. Check it out. It's a BGP vaccine gorilla production BGP RIP face mask. Um, I've got that one, and that's also, uh, you can buy one of these on my, uh, on my merchandise store on, uh, Teespring. Just go to my website, www.bgp.rip, you can buy one of these if you want one. And, uh, these I actually, uh, handmade myself. So, um, <laughs> what's up, Brian? How you doing? Shameless self-promotion, I know, but I figure as long as it was state-mandated, I might as well brand it with my own brand and do a little bit of marketing. So, I honestly, I made them for me, but if you guys want one, feel free to order one. Um, they're not very expensive at all. Uh, so, uh, anyway, guys, uh, sitting at work, oh, man. Sitting at work, sitting at work, right on, right on. Drop a lean in, why not? Heck yeah. Sweet. Alright guys, well, we got a few people in the room. We're going to turn off our music. We're going to get the game audio in. And uh, we're going to play. So, um, thank you all for joining me once again. Like I said, my name's Sean. This is Backseat Girl Productions. Normally I try to start at 8.30. We're running late tonight. Uh, because it's my own fault, honestly, and, uh, we might actually be changing the schedule to 9 o'clock p.m. I really don't want to do that, but that's something I'm gonna have to discuss with, uh, a few other people. Uh, the management team here at BGP, if you know what I mean, so... <laughs> we left off yesterday... on a plateau. We left off yesterday... On a plateau. I should do a giveaway of one of those bad boys. Oh, yeah, I could do one of those. I could do a giveaway for one of those. Alright, so the Temple of Time. This is where we are. Yeah, man, I just started playing this. Uh, you know, it's the first time I've really played it through. Um, I've had it uh, for quite some time. But, uh, I just have not played it through. So, okay, Temple of Time. Now, what were our quests? What did we have to do? <clears throat> Destroy Ganon. Yes, we must do that. Sink out the Impa. Alright, you're tasked to going to Kakariko Village to speak with the Impa. Uh, who will give you more details about your quest. Descend from the Great Plateau and head east beyond the dueling peaks and follow the road along the north blinking dot on your sheikish slate map will guide the way so we'll probably need to set that destination right there all right so there's the destination all right good to go so now let's uh let's go back to our map here we're gonna zoom in we can uh remove this uh, waypoint here, we can delete that. Uh, we don't need that any longer, uh, but we do need. Or is that what we needed? Shrine of Resurrection. That's where we were. But wasn't that what we? Hold on. 
pet destination A. Alright. So we're good. Alright, is there anything else that we need to do while we're just chilling up here in this beautiful, beautiful world? Uh-oh, the desktop audio is still going. It's mirroring the desktop audio. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, you got all the orbs. Yep. Yep, I've gotten all of the orbs. What all do I have in my inventory? I have any food. Maybe pick up some weapons. I've got a sword. Alright, so... I've got uh, some apples. I could probably do some food gathering, but I do have a lot of that kind of stuff. Alright, so the paraglider let me off this thinking island. So, I'm just gonna. I uh, try to climb down. Oh, whoa. you can hit X to glide. That's good to know. That's good to know. Alright. Well, is there anything else that we need to do up here, I wonder? I mean... We've had a whole lot of fun. I wonder if there's anything else that we need to do. To explore what? <laughs> I don't like you either. You're annoying. You're annoying. Alright, so we'll start taking fangs and stuff. All these wings. A uh, boca bat. Okay, well, that's fun. Uh, let's see, what kind of melee weapons do I have? What can I get rid of? Uh, I kind of want all of these. So. Actually, let's just drop that. And uh, let's go pick up the book of that. And let's go ahead and change this to the book of that. And that way we can have a shield as well. Do not use a shield. Oh, this is a, uh, a two-hander. Alright, well that's fine. I'll keep that. Just wondering if there's anything else we should do before we leave this crazy place. wander for food or anything. We haven't really explored it all over the place, have we? Or, I mean, have we? I'm just having fun walking around, honestly. Like I said, I've never really sat down and played this game, so walking around and getting to see everything is kind of cool to me. Picking up little herbages and stuff. I know there's a little thing somewhere. And there's probably some secrets that I can find. Some barrels I can bust open. Whoa! Hey, buddy. Take some of that cookery jelly and an apple. See? See? Just gathering stuff. Just gathering stuff. Having fun. So, uh, how's everything looking on YouTube? Is everything looking uh, good and clean and crisp and everything? Can y'all hear me okay? Looks like everything's good over on YouTube. Let me grab a sip of my coffee. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for letting me know. 
Uh, Bruce, I was uh, talking to my dad today, and uh, I was telling him about, uh, uh, <laughs> he was actually talking about uh, Bob Ross, and he had no idea who Bob Ross was. And I told him, well, Bob Ross is a painter, and uh, he's a painter. I kind of watch this, or, uh, or I do watch this guy on YouTube. Um, he's sending me a painting in the mail. Um, and uh, we went into Bob Ross a little bit, and uh, he's like, what does this Bob Ross guy do? He had no clue who Bob Ross was. It's like, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. So the point of the story is he looked up Bob Ross, and he thought that Bob Ross was a... Um, ancient gear. I like ancient gear. Uh, he thought Bob Ross was a uh, musician. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, my dad has lived under a rock for how many years? There's lots of parts that I'm finding all over the place here. mess around too much in the water though. I know and I told him about Bob Ross's uh, Twitch channel that live streams uh, you know Bob Ross 24 hours a day <clears throat> I'm gonna catch that frog <laughs> hey I got me a frog I got me a bullfrog Actually, it's a hot-footed frog. As I was hot-footed, it's a bullfrog. Gonna cook it with the fire and some logs. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of bad singing, I play Beat Saber over on Twitch. Um, I'm gonna try to have a regular schedule for that, uh, but I do play that during the daylight hours, uh, sometime in between the hours of, uh, 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Uh, so if you'd like to join myself, and, uh, perhaps even Wickaloo sometimes, and, uh, Fantastic Wit, uh, she shows up, Joe Arcade wins, comes over there. Um, so if you'd like to join us sometime, uh, we would really like to, uh, Appreciate uh, your company, and uh, we can play some songs and uh, play Beat Saber together, and uh, just have a good morning. You know, some of uh, some of you guys can actually listen at work. I uh, have uh, your own kind of private radio station, if you will. Um, some people like to do that. Some people don't. But uh, I just wanted to let everybody know that that is part of my daily routine right now. I'm trying to come up with another video idea. I've got uh, tons of Beat Saber um, ideas <clears throat> and songs that have been edited, and uh, they're they're ready to go. Um, so I can release those. Uh, you need to add in the Twitch command too. Um, let's see, uh, it's funeral today, oh my goodness, uh, my Twitch is being used up by my annoying son, I told him to get his own, yes, I've been working all the time, oh my god, wow, I thought the world knew, oh my god, yeah, that's, oh, that's a, yeah, that's, that's awful, I'm sad, I'm, I'm sad to hear that, I need to add in a Twitch command too, okay, do I not have a Twitch command already? I don't have a Twitch command. Yeah, bang Twitch. Should work. Uh, okay, bro, try to catch up uh, before your live stream is over, bro. Uh, I've got something. Uh, I've got to go do something with your client. Rock on, man. Sweet. Yep. I'm running uh, bots on both channels, or on both computers, by the way. That's why there's two subscriber zeros. Uh, if, in case you're wondering. But uh, one of them's keeping up with hours, and the other one is keeping up with uh, uh, other stuff. So, hmm. 
Okay. But I want to use my paraglider. Yeah! I got a paraglider. I got a paraglider. I got a paraglider. I'm gonna come over here and have a nice confrontation with this with this young man. Hey now. You don't look like you're very friendly, sir. You just do not look like you are a very friendly creature. Where are my weapons at? Um, I apparently have dropped a weapon and need another one. Uh, oh my goodness, now I need to eat some food. Uh, let's see. Eat that. I might have gotten myself a <laughs> Uh, I want his weapon, dude. I need your weapon, bro. Thank you. Alright, so we got the jelly. We got a Moblin Fang. Awesome. So things just kind of got real a little bit. We glided down, man. We off the plateau. We're headed places and doing things. Yo, what's up, bro? And WikiWoo posted a video today. I will have to go and check out WikiWoo's video today. Um, in fact, if somebody wants to put a link to WikiWoo's video, please do. WikiWoo is amazing. I'm glad uh, that uh, we have met. Wow, this is a uh, extra. Whoa. Hello, kind sir. I just want the mushroom. In a fight. I'm going to fight you. I'm going to fight you some more. And then I'm going to take your weapon. Haha! So now I need to hit him with a sword. Thank you for your Thank you for your kind work and existence there my friend. That was fun. The Dewster, what's up, bro? How's it going, Kevin? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. How are you and the missus? And everybody else over at the compound. Hope you're all doing well. Boy, there's lots of things out here in the woods. I don't necessarily feel the need to, to be fighting. I think I'm just going to follow the path and talk to this uh, thing, whatever I'm supposed to be doing here. Go for the rest of this stuff later. Let's uh, bash some of these barrels open. Oh, the old ghost. Ooh, an apple. I like the apples. Oh, is that an arrow? Cool. <laughs> Alright. You know, another smart thing I'm gonna do is save my game. <laughs> so I don't uh, lose my progress. Uh, no, I just do what I do. Uh, I should be done. Let's get you to a hundred friends. Oh, you need some subscribers. You need some subscribers. Look a woo. I'm gonna tell you. Sounds like there's a drum party going on all back. That would be awesome if we could get uh, Wickaloo some new, some new friends. Uh, I need to watch Wickaloo's videos myself. Ooh, what's that? Ooh. A rusty claymore. Okay, that's fine. At least I got something. 
Rust claymore. I see a treasure chest. What is in the treasure chest? A traveler's bow! Alright, so let's uh, look at all of our bows. I think I can, let's see, Traveler's Bow is a 6, so I'm going to drop that and open this and then take the Traveler's Bow. Okay. Alright, so we good here. We good here. It's still rather warm in this house. Apparently there was a storm today I slept through. Wow, there's just all kinds of weapon here. Weapon we weaponry around here. Rusty claymore. I have a feeling I'm gonna be needing some of these claymores. And I'm not really sure why. This is badly damaged. The rusty claymore can do 12, so I'm gonna drop that and I'm gonna pick up the rusty claymore. But, I'm going to swap over to this hammer to start whacking away on some of these barrels to grab supplies for aiding the village. Do a little bit of pilferaging. What's this? A uh, wooden bow. I already have a wooden bow. I got lots of wooden bows. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Apples. Another apple, so we got plenty of apples to cook once we get to our destination. Hey, Ducky, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Hope all is well. We're exploring this great land of Hyrule. And being attacked by globs of jelly. going around smashing things because it's fun and that's what you do right oh, I got an apple I know there's a bunch of enemies and stuff over there so maybe we can do that on a side mission but hey Keith uh, let's see But I'm soldering on, soldiering on, gotcha. Oh yeah, there was this uh, telekinesis thing that I had to do. Oh wait, let me pick this up. Let me throw it. Well, I just detonate it. I just make it go boom. But wasn't this, there, there a telekinesis thing that I could do? Uh, I could, oh yeah, and then I could break the rock. So, I do. Oh, no, let me do all this stuff. Oh well. Oh well. What was the other ability? Oh yeah, it was stasis, that's what it was. So I could stop time. I don't know why there was a point in that. Oh wow. So I could have just rolled it down the hill. Oh. I see. 
So, if I, I can go bowling, basically. So, I'm going to stand right here. Oh, man. I wanted that to work so badly. The Mighty Fen, hello. Hulk over blindness. Uh, smashed a few walls out in the public today. If it makes you feel any better. Hello, Paul. Good to see you as well. <clears throat> Glad everybody's uh, doing pretty well and okay. We're headed uh, somewhere. I'm not really sure. Let's see, what does this sign say? This sign says theater and theater. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, so we're just going to keep on moving on down towards where it says to go. I'm sure there's plenty of things that we can pick up along the way. But, oh, hey, how you doing? Let's, uh, retrieve a new weapon. Yeah, let's, 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 uh, take care of you. You're a big fella there. The link hammer you got from Silent Hill. I don't know. But I want to look over at my inventory. That's dr that's damaged badly. Can I can I pick this up? So I'll go ahead and take the fangs. Do I need his weapon? Wherever he dropped it. Where did we fight? Oh well. There's always this one. He's carrying a big old stick. Oh, jeez. our destination Just looking for any spare parts and anything along the way you know because well ah like that there's the fox hello hey come here oh there's a shrine the Shika shrine is that where I'm supposed to go there's a Shika Shrine over there. So, I'm gonna drop a pin. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna drop a pin. Uh, purple, sure. That'll work. I'm getting warm. Hold on a second. Turn on some air conditioning. Ah. 
much better. All right, so we're still headed over here towards the Dilio. Hello, hello, birds. And creatures, hello, creatures. Y'all are cute. More ancient ruins. So now we're on a bridge. Oh man. Dan the man. Is that Dan the man? What's up, Dan? How's he going, dude? Alright, let's uh, save our progress here. Save. It's because Sean is bad at these things. What up, dude? Alright, I see a traveler. Can I put my 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 weapon away? There we go. Hello, sightseer. The end is here. What are, what are we looking at, bro? Oh, we're looking at that. All right. So Brigo says I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that well, that's just a badder than most. We're doomed. I mean, don't panic. Sorry. Who are you? Have we met? Well, it doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself. So you've come at a good time. By the way, I have those strange things that popped out of the ground. Did you see them? Uh, I'm not talking about mushrooms here. I'm talking about those towers. Yeah, they seem to have popped up all over the place. And that's not the only strange things. Those, things, those long, deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. Uh. Yep. You know what this means, don't you? The end is near with all the craziness happening. I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Well, you know, the funny thing is, uh, so have I. I'm the one that's been got, uh, entrusted to protect this this whole thing, man. So, uh, <laughs> that's, that's really funny. Uh, you see, if it suddenly starts moving, just to see if it suddenly... What, hold on, what did you just say? Yeah, good idea. Hold on, what thing? I'm talking about the Guardian, of course. Haven't you heard about the old stories about the Guardian of Hyrule? The Psycho Ducky! One dollar Australian, thank you so much, dude. Oh my gosh, man. Ducky. Ducky, man. Dude, thank you so much. Of course, a member, um, uh, of course, a member over on, uh, uh, of, on, of the channel. Thank you so much, dude. You're just amazing, man. Thank you so, so, so very much, Psycho Ducky. Absolutely amazing. Of course, everybody on the board. Joe Arcade wins. This fits and Dreamers Nola Fam Arcade. Jesse K. Psycho Ducky Beats by Guys. Cami Blue on the move. Stephanie Elisic A. Super Stuff. Garrison Geller. Beth B. Scratchology. And Unboxed Warehouse. Who uh, came in yesterday. Thank you all. Uh, so very kindly. Uh, very, very, very generous. Um, I will throw you money. I will throw money at you next Friday. <laughs> um, thank you. Um, you don't have to, but thank you. Cheers, mate. Oh my goodness! I'm just so appreciative that you guys like to enjoy these uh, these games with me, and uh, I'm, I'm happy that I'm able to. Um, play them you know all right so that rune shape like an overturned urn that's what i'm talking about yeah you see one of them can move and one of them chased me down and tried to kill you oh wow that was a different one uh, i was closer to the castle but before the forest when they spot you they shoot blue beans of light uh, i was sure that was the end for me i was prepared for the worst but somehow i managed to escape into the nearby woods mm -hmm. you think it was my lightning fast reflexes that saved me ha i wish truth is i just got lucky Anyway, I hear guardians like that still wander around Hyrule Castle. Be careful. Okay, so it's telling us to watch out for guardians, or he has told us to watch out for guardians. Uh, we know that, so that's a good idea. So we see a little thing down there. Alright, so there's a group over here.
There are people over here, but I want to go to that treasure chest down there that's only guarded by a couple of people. There's a campfire over here where I can roast some things. And let me just get out. Let's oh, see, that's badly damaged, so we'll change it out with a different rusty claymore. And let's go into battle with these fine people over here. And steal their food. Oh man, they've got shields. So, I need to... I need to... I need to equip... Hold on. I need to equip... A bomb arrow. No. No, 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 no. I need the, the. That. That was the idea. <laughs> that was the idea. You're still around. Alright, let me put this away. You seem to be kind of damaged, bro. Alright. Are we done here? Alright. Hey, R5, what's going on? Alright, don't need any more shields. Uh, let's see, got a bow and arrow. Fang. Uh, bow. <laughs> Bogoblin guts, a rare material obtained by defeating a bogoblin, can fuse. It can falls this on its own every now and then, which really creepy if it has a use. Uh, not a whole lot of hope. Uh, you are well. Not a, not a whole lot of hope. Oh no, what's going on? Why don't you have much hope? Uh, er, not a whole lot. Yes, not a whole lot. Hope you're doing okay. Okay, I think we're, we're, we're yeah. not a whole lot. Hope you're doing good. Yeah, I'm doing good. Me and Mrs. B, we're doing great. Uh, we're doing great, actually. Uh, we are, uh, well, she's at work, and... I am playing games. I wanted to see what was in this box down here. The whole reason. Yes, I did. Opal, a valuable ore that gives off a mesmerizing iridescence of some uh, similar to the inside of a seashell. It contains the power of water. You know what? Actually, with in all honesty, um, I do need to increase the. Uh, the size of the uh, the chat on this monitor. In all honesty, I always increase the size of the chat so I can read it. And I just forgot to. <laughs> I gotta switch to blue, there you go. There you go, now you feel more at home. I was wondering, I was like, that's, that's interesting. Crap, we can't, t well, yeah, we can't talk about you anymore. Now that we know that you're a real account, we can't talk shit anymore, right? <laughs> a valuable or the coast, I'm joking, we never do that. Absolutely not, we never do that. R5 is amazing. If you haven't checked out her channel, um, uh, her family of channels, she's got an awesome family of channels. But anyway, a uh, valuable one that gives off a mesmerizing iridescence similar to the inside of a seashell. It contains the power of water. I'm joking. Yes, I'm joking too. Uh, I was doing stuff on the other channel. 
Yeah, it's like uh, Brian making the joke. Well, uh, now that uh, he's not here to defend himself, you know. <laughs> All right, um, let's find some things and cook some food. Uh, let's make some some food while we have uh, a cooking vessel here. Let's check our inventory. So we got some mushrooms. We're gonna hold those uh, with um. <clears throat> hmm. I'm going to combine the mushroom with the uh, jelly. And then I'm going to cook it. Let's see what happens. Uh, dubious food. That's no good. Dubious food. No bueno. I don't want dubious food. Alright. Alright, let's see what else we can cook. Uh, I know we can cook. Uh, I'm just gonna hold a bunch of apples. And I'm gonna throw in a horn to see if it helps anything. I don't know if it will. Dubious food. Four apples, two hearts. Okay. Let's do a little bit more cooking. Uh, we have some mushrooms. So we're gonna hold that. Um, we're gonna hold an acorn. Uh, let's cook that. <laughs> <laughs> a mushroom skewer yay alright so the apples so we'll hold that and what else do we have um some amber jelly some sticks eyeballs uh, an apple and a frog. No, I don't want to do either one of those things, actually. So, let's uh, stop holding. Let's stop holding and continue on towards our destination. <clears throat> what we need to do is also save our game so we don't mess up anything. When he sees, he eats. Lurking animals are being buttheads. Oh, I hear you. Aren't they always? Aren't they always? I've got a lot of shields, so I think I'm alright on shields. 9.40 p.m. Something shiny over here caught my eye. I saw a shiny over here. Maybe not. I have a feeling I should be going back and doing that trial, though. I really think I should be going back and doing that trial, but... It said... That we were supposed to... Uh, how did we get to our... Adventure log. Alright. Give you more details on your quest. Alright, so do the question is do we go and sink out the Inca lady that's like now gone on the map? Where'd she go? Okay. Or do we go back to that room? Questions, questions. This 
This isn't 122 in a day. Hey, what's going on, uh, Leonardo? What's going on, dude? How are you? Good to see you. Uh, do I want... What's that? What are you? Ooh, arrows. I like arrows. Arrows are fun. There's a campfire over there. Somebody has been setting up camp. Looks like there's somebody guarding it as well. So. Kind of want to be quiet ish. A little bit. Let me steal your mushroom here. And. Whoa, I don't want that arrow. Um. I want. Plain arrows, please. Alright. You get my arrows back. Oh, there's more of you. Probably need to eat some. Simmered food, dubious food. Alright, I'm gonna eat that. Alright, so that'll get us through this battle anyway. <laughs> My brothers, my sisters, give me some, give me some food. Eat, eat, eat. I need, I need something to fight you with, bro. Whatever you got, what you've been guarding down here. What's up, Sean? Hey, Javier, what's up, man? Wayne's World bowling up to wit. I'm not worthy, we're not worthy. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, arrows and. Ooh, a blackened crab, a whole crab slow roasted. Ooh. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Oh, why would I? A roasted bass? Okay, rupees. Lots of rupees. Rupees are fun. Rupees are good. We're gonna take these people's steak over here. We're definitely gonna take it as a steak. We're gonna see what's up here. Another opal, nice. Okie dokie. Still feel like I should be going back and doing that that thing over there, man, but let's see, this is badly damaged, so we can search around. We don't have many good melee weapons. We'll keep the claymore for now. It does a lot of a lot of damage. I like that all of the rupees, please. I would like that. I would like all of that. What is my shield situation looking like here? Probably get rid of this one, traveler shield. So we'll cancel that. So I could like get rid of that, I can like drop that, and then Boku Shield is 10 to a 3. What do I have equipped now? Hold on 
a minute. So they're saying that the traveler shield. I need to. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So I need to take this one and drop it. And then I'm definitely going to take that one because it's a power of four. This one is a power of ten. Alright, I'm learning how to play the game. I'm learning, or er, no, that's just how many of them I have. No, that is power on this one. Okay. Whee! Oh, man. Okay. Let's keep on moving towards this thing that they told us to. I oh, don't suppose we got any pot, anything to cook in the uh, in the pot there. Uh, found something. Said pick up. What are you wanting me to pick up? A rock? <laughs> Just throw a rock at you? Okay. I'll go take a your rupee though. Or whatever that thing is. Arrow. I like arrows and apples. Let's find, uh, let's see. I need some bludgeoning weapons. I need bludgeoning weapons. Back, you. <laughs> Just stay there. All that for an apple. Can you believe it? It's an arrow. Arrows are good. Acorn. If I could do some, uh, Good cooking somewhere. Alright, anyway. Alright, let's go. Up the hills, up the hills. I guess that I, I could go all over this place, but I, I do want to go. Check out the main mission first, I guess. Kinda ish. Oh, you don't make me swim. You gonna make me swim? Oh, we're swimming. Oh, we are swimming. Oh, that's slightly terrifying. Did you get a better melee weapon than that? There we go. Check the high ground over here. <laughs> Hello? What do you do? Okay. Well, that's neat. Oh. Uh, come on, blob. Alright, so I got some more of the jelly stuff. Ooh, something over here just moved. This is a giant something or another. What is this? What? What is this? Octorite eyeball, this can only be obtained for an Octorite enemy. You can sell it at a store, you can make electrodes with it, but it has many other uses as well. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
Uh, yeah, it's probably time to save. And I got an octo balloon. This inflatable octo has a lot to lift, so attach it to an item you want to see float. Hold it in your hands and then place it on an object to attach it. And that's pretty cool. Oh, and I got a bass. Um, it's, uh, got to be the biggest fish by never getting caught until now. It's like... Okay, cool. Yeah, I think a save is definitely in store. <laughs> DJ B Wells, what's up, dude? Good to see you, bro. Good to see you. Have have your day been good? My day had been good. I have had a good day. I haven't uh, really been productive much at all, but uh, I've had a good day. Oh, yeah! You're a mean critter. I ought to hunt you down and shoot you. <laughs> I hit you with my... Where do you go? Just like instantly despawn. Okay. Well anyway, let's go talk to this lady. Yeah, I could have used the bow. I thought about it for a split second, and I was like, yeah, well. Okay. Which way does it go? Let me go left. Play some $50 tickets when I was in your hood with Wicked Woo, and you hit. Nice. Heck yeah, dude. I hit 50 bucks last night and didn't even realize it. I thought I won 10, but I won 50. There's a hole in the ground. I wonder what's down there. Oh, it's just a hole in the ground. That's all it is, just a hole in the ground. Alright, so I see things. myself for battle I hear something what do I hear oh my what is what is that what is that thing I can use the spaces um or I can throw it hold on hold on all right so I'm gonna drop a bomb right here and I'm gonna wait for this guy to come next to the bomb come on buddy how do I hurt this thing? now he has this stupid antelope thing I need food quickly Do I not have any roasted food anywhere? Oh well, I'm getting lots of apples, so we're okay. Oh, oh, it's magnetic! It's magnetic! I need to get behind it somehow. really far away from it. Hey 
maybe I, okay, so maybe I do just need to blow it up. Set a bomb down and blow it up. Every time I try to set a bomb down. Ideas, so I'm just gonna run away. Running out of ideas, I'm just gonna run away. Is he chasing me? Do I have to like climb up on it or something? I mean, I can... This is just kind of stupid, you know? I mean, the thing is not gonna get hurt by me, you know? I mean... I just don't really know what to do there. So, this is why we make save points, right? Ooh, the Lamborghini order should be here soon. Right on. Okay. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. What was that all about? I don't want to make no enemies. I don't even want to steal y'all's food no more. I just want to look at my inventory, see what kind of food items I have. So I got a couple of apples here. So I don't have much to eat much anything out of. So I need to go and look for some food items. Yes, hello sir. On, on horsey back. You're on horsey back. Why are you on horsey back? Now I, now I, I mount your horse. Come here, horse. I have mounted you. Oh, 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 oh. Ha. Ha. I have mounted your horse, dude. Okay, I now have a horse. What do I do with the horse? What do I do with the horse? <laughs> that was cool. Oh man. <laughs> do 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 do. Do 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 do. 
<laughs> Run fast. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if I equip a, a bludgeoning device. Can I equip a bludgeoning device? I don't, I don't guess that I can. Hey! That's not cool. Hey! You took my horse. You suck. And that's like all the food I have too. Whole apple tree right here, though, so. Oh no, I was gonna get all the apples from the apple tree. I'm like a scene from the, the movie City Slickers. <laughs> all I was gonna do is beat all the apples off the apple tree. Uh, you're off to the video. Woohoo! Hope you guys have a good night, YouTube, bro. Thank you. I suppose I never should have stole that dude's horse. I guess that's the moral of the story. I should have just left that horse be. Right now I'm hunting for food. Hunting for an apple tree. I can knock some apples off of. <laughs> I got a problem against your horse, bro. I got a problem against you. How did that happen? How did that happen? <sighs> Alright, well, let's go grab some more apples. Take all your apples. I'm gonna go have myself an apple mukbang. Mukbang or whatever you want to call the thing. <laughs> Now's the time to strike right there. What happened? It's like a glitch or something, dude. It's like an insta kill. Like, I don't, I don't understand. All right, so no more dealing with things on horses. 
We'll go find some apples somewhere else. Down here. These guys are much easier to dispatch. strategy of this game. Alright, so that has exploding uh exploding things down there. So I'm gonna shoot an arrow down there. Sneak up on them. So whoops. Oh I, I wish they would stop doing that. up dude this is terrifyingly bad need some more coffee for sure right, let's try this from a different angle all right let's try this from a different angle let's knock off this guy first So we got him. Now we knock off that guy. Straight to the face. You're wanting to be bludgeoned. So we shall get into a bludgeoning competition. Hey. You're poking me with a spear. I don't like that. Stop poking me. to equip a weapon. Some variety. Bludgeoning device. That right there. The pickaxe. Alright. Alright, farmer boys. Now I got a poker too. I need that, I need that. Man. I've never played it past this point, really. Hey Cheryl, how are you this evening? Good to see you. We're running dangerously low on coffee. I need a refresher on this before we get started here. So, actually, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to pour myself some coffee. Um... Let me pour myself some coffee here. 
Oh, a little bit of sugar. Shoot. Or you just drop sugar all over the ground. That's all right. I can get uh, Henry vacuum to clean that up later on. And of course, my BGP coffee press. A job for Dyson than it is for Henry. Uh, so, coffee and eye drops. Yeah, definitely some eye drops. Coffee and eye drops, and the old juice falls down. All right, sounds about right. Everything's going well, as usual. Okay, cool. Uh, let's try to do this again. All right, let's try to do this again. Well, I, I've I ran out of time. I keep talking to my dad, and, and we keep talking longer and longer and longer. Alright, I'm gonna appoint... I'm gonna poke you guys with a stick, too. See how you like it. Right? I'm gonna take your stick. You're on fire. You're throwing some crap. So I'm gonna poke you. I see a bunch of people. And you are now all going to be. Uh, I need a stick to throw at somebody. Uh, I need a stick to throw at somebody. How am I dying? I mean, seriously. How am I dying? I don't understand how I'm... so bad. Alright, so maybe we'll just kill the one dude from afar our arrows out so we'll like shoot him in the face maybe Should I avoid them all together? Do I need to go back to that, that shrine? What the... What in the world? I feel like I should just be able to just walk back over to that little shrine area and not have to deal with these people. Just go talk to the pretty lady like, like I'm supposed to and all will be okay in the world. <laughs> And squid jellyfish thing pop up from everywhere. Alright, so there's a lake here. by himself and he's got a does he have a, a pokey 
Yeah, he's got a poker device. So I need a poker device. So I need a poke you at you. And I need to take your stick. And then I'll take your horns. Alright, so I'm just gonna hide over here. And hope these guys don't see me because they saw me. No, I need to run and run and run and I need to eat food. I really needed to roast this food. But this is gonna have to work. Or not. Or not. Right on, Jesse. Right on. I understand. I, I know I know it's quality time and it's good time, but I it's hard to explain. So then it's time to go mountain climbing now. Hello bird. I'm just not even going to bother with them things over there. I'm just going to come over here and see what all we got. We're going to go exploring a little ways. Too random crap. What's going on, bruh? We're just going to go do a little bit of exploration here. tower that's neat more glowy towers all right that dudes are there protecting something obviously so we need to get up there I think this is the best way to do it I hope we have the power and the stamina, let's go, let's go. We got the scratch and bow on the go. What's up, man? Arcade, arcade, what's up, dude? How's it going, bro? You guys are awesome. Thank you all for joining me this evening. I hope you're all having a wonderful time. Do I risk the jump? Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, I know you're exhausted. Maybe it's time to save. Maybe it's time to save. Meow. Alright. Go definitely looking for some... Some mushroom image or, or something. Uh, we're having to climb mountains. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. What's this? Um, um. to use the magnetic ability dang gum it alright so the magnetic ability maybe maybe one of these are magnetic they sure do make rock salt I broke. Next. Let's try that one. 
A diamond. Ooh, nice. Cool. Well, I'm glad that I have the diamond and a topaz. That was, well, we're, I don't want to climb down, hell no. That was worth the, uh, that was worth the, uh, the whatever. Cammy blue in his hair balloon. That's right. We're taking the long way around Hyrule today. Saying that you made a big announcement last night and you sang that song to Candy Blue. That's awesome, dude. Where are you? We just need to get to the top of this over here. Okay. Keeping on the lookout for any kind of food, items. Stuff that we can eat. Not rock monsters. Not rock monsters. I hope that dude stopped chasing me. sneak right back over here and I see I see a detonation thing so I can get my arrow out shoot man right there um badly need to change types of arrows how do I change type of arrow there we go Fire arrow, bludgeoning devices for you all. Using the biggest and the baddest of them all, now I am dead. Wow. Hey, what's going on, man? How are ya, Sweatcake21? Good to see you. Uh, we are just hanging out on a mountaintop, making our way towards this uh, thing that we're supposed to talk to. I keep encountering uh, big rock things. Alright, so... Let's get our fire arrows out. Mother trucker. All right, what kind of bludgeoning weapons do I have? need that. Alright. So, you sir can stay back with your flaming rod of doom there. I don't want that flaming rod of doom anywhere near me. Alright. And then there's you. I'm just gonna climb up here and just poke you in the butt. <laughs> Thank you, come again. <laughs> Alright. Go gather up all of our all of our stuff. Take our steak. Save our game. Thanks for coming back tonight, man. Good to see you. Appreciate you being here. 
Miss Stone. Mr. Yuna gives off the pale glue glow in the dark. Please banish and souls the dead can be used to make special clothing. Well, I want to make clothing. I'm interested in making clothing. Arrows are good. Arrows are good. I really need a bludgeoning device, though. Thing. Yeah, I'll take all of these bludgeoning devices, melee weapons. Alright, so let's uh, drop the leaf. Drop the leaf. Pick up the bludgeoning device. Got some leaves. No, I don't need those leaves. Alright, we're right here. Hello, the humble kid. I'm not leaving? Well, I thank you for coming back. This is what I was trying to say. Again, guys, this is my first playthrough. I've never played this game before, so I have no idea. Blind walkthrough. No idea what I'm doing. I know I'm climbing to the top of this mountain right now. Yeah, I uh, did get off the plateau. I got all of the... Uh, all the Sheikah shrines done. Alright, so here I am. And I need to go over there. This bird's gonna come and try to poke me. I'm gonna poke it first. Alright, you bird. Ha ha! See, I destroy you, bird. And your wing. Alright, so what all do we have over here? Survey of the land. shoot this thing okay I, I guess I just heard it <laughs> I just heard his little feelings apparently oh well let's keep on moving Bud. What y'all doing? What y'all doing out here? Why am I red? I read. Link. I don't understand. Ganon's power grows. It rises to its peak under the hour of the blood moon. By its glow. 
blow the aimless spirits of monsters slain in the name of the light return to flesh. Link, please be careful. So, this game just put me in like nightmare mode? Is that what it just said? I mean, that sounded pretty obvious to me. It was like, hey man, this is it. So where am I supposed to go to? I'm supposed to go to that little place over there. I don't see any way of getting there. I guess we'll just take the long way around. Just take the long way around. There's something over here. Whoa, what is that? Rush room? That's cool. Alright, I think we'll be fine. Back over here. See, this is what I keep encountering. Gotta go up the damn cliff. Why can't Link float, is my question. Humans float. Humans float. And where is my paraglider? Last time I did that, I got an act or a, a mushroom thing. Whoa! Oh. All right, so I'll take that. Let's get back up here. Swings. I gotta figure out what to do with all these key swings, fangs, and stuff. Alright, so we're gonna cross the bridge here. Alright. Choo choo jelly. All the choo choo jelly.
And we're right back where we started. <laughs> well, we're right back where we started on the mission. <laughs> I mean, precisely where we started on this mission. So I see a thing over here. These are blue nightshades. Alright, cook it to increase your stealth. Ooh, alright, good to know. Good to know. See, they show me shinies and it distracts me. herb. herb. Hold down on the D-pad and tap B rapidly. Why would I want to do that? Oh. Yeah, um, I remember that uh, from yesterday. Yeah, thank you for that trick. Or, uh, thank you. More herb. And Juna Eric, that's one sound effect. That we're, or JJ General One, or himself. What is up, brother? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in with your powerful raid of one. Appreciate you coming in, man. And there. A, let's see. I can activate the stasis. I can stop time on the rock, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really care. Uh, let me change this ability to drop a bomb there. Run away and just explode it. Option B. <laughs> Flint! Cool. Option B worked out better. Need some stuff to cook. Need some stuff to eat. Oh, no problem, dude. Long time to see. How are you? Yeah, um, I've been, uh, been staying busy. Um, I've been setting up this room for live streaming. I've been setting up the studio, which is pretty much exclusively uh, VR stuff now. Um, and of course that means reprogramming everything. You know how that goes. You're a pain in the butt, dude. I ought to shoot you. But you're being something. I'll take whatever this is, it's a medicinal plant. Are you seriously gonna charge at me again? Psycho Ducky's working. Your command is working now. So I've restored a few of your commands to working again. It's working again. Like I said, I got a few of them working. I haven't gotten them all, but I've gotten a few. I need an edged weapon. I guess I get to deal with a Boku Club. That's all I got. Infinity Duke weapon would be nice. Hello. Hello, peasant traveler. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Bombs can be used uh, to mine it quickly. Uh, cool explosion. Just don't set off the bombs near you. Okay. Uh, high quality ore. Alright. Yeah. So I know how to use bombs. Right.
mushroom, you don't look great. It's like a huge mushroom. Look at that. What is this? Shalaka? You! You can see me. I can see you. It's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hestu and I need your help, okay? Those monsters over there stole your maracas. They stole your maracas. Okay. Go get your maracas back. They're over here someplace. Where are they? Where are your maracas? Where are they? Is it in the map? tunnel. Right. Where's the rock tunnel? I'm just gonna keep on going. Oh, this rock tunnel over here. Alright, so I need a melee weapon of some variety. Oh, nope, I need a pokey. I need a pokey. Specifically for you. You had a pokey. I need to eat something badly. Um. Eyes are watering something terribly fierce. Uh, none of this is gonna give me. Ah, there's delicious food. There's delicious food. Alright, that's fine, but let's change that. Okay. Yes, we're badly damaged. I understand that. That's, that's great. <laughs> Run like hell, dude. I was just gonna drop the bomb and set it off. I was just going to drop the bomb and set it off. That's all I was going to do. <sighs> oh, what's up, Epidemic, Epidemic Fun and Games, Epic Fun and Games. How's it going, bro? running towards this thing over here. Alright, that's mineable ore, so I can like I can set a thing on that. 
and then explode it. Or not. I'm sure there's two something. Or I'm sure there's something to that. I mean, there wouldn't just randomly be this here. Just randomly. One would think. Could be wrong. So, I'm gonna stand here and regain my stamina, and then I'm going to make my trek to the top. there buddy you're on dry ground dude smaller hill to climb, like this one. Hey Beth, oh my goodness, thank you so much. How are you? Welcome, welcome to the stream. Coming in with a dollar ninety-nine super chat, thank you so, so very much. Very much appreciated. Alright, so we've made it up here. No idea why we're up here, but we're up here for some reason. Might be a good time for a game save. So it's going to be a good time to put Beth B. Scratch Allergy on the board? No. With an exclamation point beside her name. That's what we're talking about. An exclamation point beside your name. Beth, thank you so, so very much. I uh, really do. Really, really do appreciate it. Of course, everybody on the board. That big six looking nice next to your names, y'all. It is, it is. Um, so, uh, y'all hang tight for just a couple seconds. Um, I will be right back, okay? I'll be right back.
All right, sorry about that. I'm back. Hello, hello. All right. All right, sorry about that, guys. Let's turn this on. And here we go. Uh, coffee. Definitely need coffee. I do have a few tickets tonight as well. I've got these, and I got uh, a stack of these too. So, we got plenty of tickets to scratch uh, later on in the evening uh, if we want to do that. So, that's pretty cool. All right, let's go. I'm every mountain link. I think I see the thing that we're looking for. Have I saved recently? Have I saved recently? <laughs> Probably a good idea to save. Been fun. Uh, midnight view. Been awake for 45 of the last 48, and you're exhausting. I'll watch the rest of this in the morning. Good night. Good night. Oh man. Uh, thank you so much, Wikaboo. Uh, thanks for uh, joining me this morning on twitchtv gorilla where I stream Beat Saber. <coughs> Mic check one two. I stream Beat Saber over there. Um, on a uh, somewhat fairly daily basis and uh, catch me live over there sometime between the hours of uh, 10 a.m. and uh, uh, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Alright, I really have a feeling I should have teleported to that shrine over there. But we're in the village now. Is there any way to climb down there without disturbing folks? I guess maybe we should go this way. Uh, yeah, here we go. We've made it to the village, so we're gonna save. Hello? Hello, everyone. My name's Link. I've just invaded your village. Traveler, I'm sorry, but I seem to have twisted my ankle. Hmm, let me see here. Okay. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. Okay, I've got the hiccups. Hey, traveler. Yeah. Where'd you get that object hanging from your waist? Well, you see. Long story, bro. Ninja hugs. Uh, yes, I see. That's a Sheikah slate. Uh, it means you were the hero of the legend. Though there are a few who know of such legends anymore, but we Sheikah have been waiting for you for a very long time. Please, before all else, I must insist that you meet with our leader. Uh, where is she? Over there. Lantern Falls. Just uh, follow over there. It's time to meet you. Uh, Alright. I really feel like I should have done that trial thing over there. I really do feel like I should have done that trial thing over there. Hey, person. Hey there. Yeah, it's rare to see a young person like 
You around here. You aren't part of the... No, I'm not part of the clan. No, 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 no. No, no I'm just pointing it out. You look so serious, I couldn't help but uh, goad you a bit. We call those who swear allegiance to Calamity Ganon the Yiga clan. Mm. No, let's just say they don't take kindly as standing against Ganon. Okay, it seems they're active again ever since the big earthquake the other day, but don't worry. <clears throat> Uh, don't think your part. Please don't hold it against me. Take this. Cool. Gave me a pumpkin. Sweet. Thank you. Just stop by the fields and say hello and they'll give me more pumpkins. Sweet. These are nice people. Hi. New clothes. New outfits. Alright. I need to talk to the lady. Is this the new, is this the lady? No. Open for business, all right. That's great. I even have a Sheikah slate, yes, I sure do. Wait, huh? Yes. Isn't that like an incredible thing that only certain people have? Uh, uh okay, yeah, I'm pretty important, yeah. I had to go through those rocks someplace, right? Through these rocks? Is that where you were telling me to go? Through here? Or is this how I got down here? Oh, that's where her house is. It's way over there. Okay, I see. Hello! Dinner time! Let's follow the pathway. Yeah. I do need some new clothes though. We'll go check out the shop. Our clothes are the tops. All right, high-end boutique. Stealth chest guard. Okay. Uh, all right, high-end collection, but of course, personally selected. Blah blah blah. Okay, okay. Uh, I want to sell. Alright, what would you like to sell? Um, I don't know. Of a diamond that's worth like 500 rupees. I'm not going to do anything though. I'm just going to... Uh, bye. Ah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I just want clothes. Ah. Limited edition. While you wear it, your footsteps are nearly soundless. Mm. Okay. Small price for the extra stealth. All right. How much is it? How much is it? Six hundred flipping rupees. Oh my. Seven hundred rupees. I have Highland trousers. I need a tunic. All right, let's go talk to this this person. Hey. Uh, I think this is the way that we we're supposed to go. said take take what iron sledgehammer okay sure <coughs> all right so there's that thing that I can paraglide to now where is this person I'm supposed to go and talk to
Oh, it's an artist. Hello, artist. Uh, yep, love art. Search for beautiful landscapes, yep. Great fairy mountain somewhere, breathtakingly beautiful. Uh, bestow some kind of mysterious power. Okay, well that's cool. Oh uh, yeah, nobody will tell him any more details, blah blah blah, so travelers are treated with suspicion. Okay. Hey, what's going on, Jen? Nice to see ya. Hello. where we need to go. Uh, you there, who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm. Is that a Shaika Slade? Yes, but that would mean you are. No, it's impossible. Can it be? Yes, yes, yes. It's me, it's me, it's BGP. Yes. Oh. It is me, it is me. Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. We've heard of legends from the lady, but please, friends, go ahead and step inside, okay? Appreciate that. Can I have y'all apple? Give me y'all apple. I need y'all apples. For being rude. A man! Yeah. Huh? Is that a... It's a... Yeah. <sighs> okay, yes. Your name is Paya. Yes. Hello, Paya. <sighs> Whew. You got it out. Good for you, bud. I know you should be able to say your own name. I know. It's okay being starstruck. It's, it's all right. Been waiting for me since I'm little. Hurry inside. No, I'm not gonna hurry inside. I'm going to save my game. <sighs> yep, I am in the village. Uh, where I'm meeting up with uh, this uh, this lady. So, you're finally awake. Yeah. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now, but you Misfits and Dreamers, me, thank you so you? much. <laughs> Dude, Bob and Bonnie, thank you so very much. Let me get oh. your names on the board after this cutscene. What's the matter? You're looking at me as though I'm a stranger. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It's... Uh, I, it is I, courageous one, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. Oh. I see. So you have lost your memory. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. Yes, ma'am. And again, guys, go check out Misfits and Dreamers, man. What's for dinner? I had uh, Italian sausage with a ricochette, or orcachete pasta with a white wine reduction. Uh, a little bit of cheese, some spinach roasted tomatoes. And uh, it came from Costco uh, pre-made. I put it in the oven for an hour and 20 minutes, and it was really good. <laughs> it was super good. A hundred years ago, yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed, alright? After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, she went to face Ganon. Before she went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted you with some words she wished to say to you. I've been waiting a hundred years to deliver her message. Oh boy. Oh. However... These words, which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear oh. them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well, but I'm afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you're still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you're ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. 
Alright, well, I'm just, I'm just gonna go check out your, your hood. I'm just gonna go check out your place. Go, go, go steal your stuff. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna steal your stuff. I'm just gonna go look around. Ooh, what's this? I am gonna read your diary. <laughs> she only started writing in it. Um, conspired a hundred years ago. Alright, this is a good time to uh, put Misfits and Dreamers on the shout out board. Thank you so much, Bob and Bonnie. You guys are absolutely amazing, Misfits and Dreamers. All of these exclamation points, man. Look at this. this is a crazy amount of exclamation points next to you guys' name. I realize you guys can't hear me all the way back there. So thank you all so, so much for your support, man. Joe Arcade wins, Misfits and Dreamers, Nola Fem Arcade, Jesse K, Psycho Ducky, Beats by Gaz, Kami Blue on the Moose, Stephanie Ellis, aka K, Super Stuff, Garrison Geller, Beth B, Scratch Allergy, and Unbox Warehouse. You guys, thank you so much uh, for your um, generosity and uh, of course all of the members of the channel uh, you guys uh, thank you so very much man welcome to my crib oh yeah huh? alright so says they decided to put a lone swordsman into a long sleep us to prepare for a time that was foretold in legends that, uh, okay that was my name Link since then, Grandmother has been waiting for him to reappear. Yes, I just did that. Uh, okay, yeah. Good to go. <laughs> Checks out the house, raids the fridge, does all the things, saves the game, because that's what we do. Because I don't want to, you know. I want to talk to you again. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> Not a memory to your name, yet you were as intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. You've not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Oh. Okay. Very well. But since you've lost your memory, I'll need to recount it for... for I will... Recount for you all that has happened. Okay. Recount for me. All that has happened. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Okay. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land, should Calamity Ganon ever return. Mm -hmm. They constructed four mechanical <clears throat> wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. Bad rain and windstorm. Oh no. The divine beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Fair enough. And... 
upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Okay. Yeah. Hundred years ago. In preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. Aww. But, in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you with these words. Oh. Free the four divine beasts. That is what she said. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, <laughs> do a mic check and get the info on the Divine Beast. The four Divine Beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who came and defeated. Divine Beast uh, Varudina, controlled by the Dark of Gorons. <laughs> mic check. Um, <clears throat> see, controlled by Revali of the Rito. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh. It would be extremely ill advised to face Ganon without the power of the Divine Beasts. You must infiltrate the Divine Beasts that were stolen away from Ganon 100 years ago and bring them back to our side. Uh, can be found by accessing the four races scattered across Hyrule. Okay. <laughs> the Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with each leader there. Okay. Alright. Cool. It seems to me that it's not yet complete. No. Uh, it's also your memory now. Let me see. Someone at my research lab might be able to help you. Hatano Village. Uh, yeah, let's go to a new village. Let's keep traveling. The location shining in the eastern edge is Hatano Village. Okay. Small village, one of very few places avoided significant damage. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, you are your own, your princess Zelda's only hope and high rules as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Okie dokie. Good night. Um, the power's out. Man, stay safe, Bob and Bonnie. Y'all take shelter if you need to, man. Stay safe. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for your support as always. Uh, your membership um, and your, your, your donations and gifts are truly overwhelming. Um, but uh, f first and foremost, stay safe, be well, and uh, thank you for entertaining the masses like uh, the rest of us uh, YouTubers try to do. Um, Does she have anchors? Um, Alright, what it looked like to me, I wish I could get in a like, first person view. They look like little... Uh, They look like those things, like uh, a pendulum, like in the Telltale Heart, or whatever it was, or, or no, the Pit in the Pendulum, that would come and look, like slice your, your head off. That's what it looks like, to me, anyway, but that's... <laughs> Alright, journal, first page, alright, well... Let's read the journal, 
might as well. <laughs> well, my wife left me today. The last thing she said to me was, what's more important, the cuckoos or me? I chose the cuckoos, the vow master. Next rage. A painter, unfamiliar to any of us, has arrived in the village. He claimed to be searching for the great fairies found, but there's no... But that's near where the villager's spirit protector resides. We must be sure the outsider doesn't learn of the location of the fountain or the two shrines near it. Oh, okay. New guy looks like he really knows how to tune a bow. I hope he comes by and knocks an arrow for me. It's been way too long. All right. Day in, day out, I'm barking at people inside the shop, and I don't mind. Really, it's good money and busy. Myself helps to numb the pain, but the only thing that really helps me feel better is walking among the fireflies. Unfortunately, now I've been asked to not walk around at night because it's dangerous. I don't know how I can cope with all the fireflies. Precious heirloom that has many passed down family generations. Okay. Heirloom has a destiny. <sighs> Alright, so I think I'm done reading everything here. I think I'm done reading everything here. Alright, let's go mess around in this village. Uh, save. Real quick. I'm going to save twice real quick. And, uh, let's talk, uh... Alright, so there's an inn at the village. What are you doing, bruh? <laughs> uh, what you doing? <laughs> what you doing? Just polishing the guardian deities. Oh, Like signposts that guide us through lives. Master Link, I want you to know that the path you're walking down is one we should all follow. I was afraid doing stuff like this. The only thing I can do is help you. Oh, okay. Yeah. This must be the inn over there. What are you doing? Oh yeah, you're a chicken. It's okay, bro. Chill. I'm not losing to him. Chill, bro. Do you need something? I haven't seen you around here before, but there's something so familiar about that face of yours. Yeah, 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 I know. I know, I know. I know. I'm a celebrity around here. It's a long time ago when the calamity hit, but uh, it looks like you're the swordsman. Yep, that was me. Yep. Hey, how you doing? Yep. Yep, same swordsman. I uh, thinks I'm joking. Uh, if you're really that noble swordsman, you have the legendary blade, the sword that seals the darkness. You see, that's the thing about the swordsman, is he's trained with swift carrots instead of a blade. Strengthens his body with a diet made entirely of carrots. He tempered his soul with the sweet aroma of swift carrots. That's why my grandfather always used to say, so I guess I need to uh, get some carrots. Uh, have a carrot and try to be more like a swordsman. <laughs> I appreciate your, uh, your carriage. You can buy some at my old lady's shop. If you want to be strong like the swordsman, I don't mind lending you a hand. Okay. Uh, Mic check. One, two. What other kind of stuff can we do around here? There's the carrot shop. So this must be the, the inn. This must be the inn. So, I wonder if it costs any money to sleep. Uh, 20 rupees. Uh, and the soft bed is 40 rupees, and I don't have any, I don't, I don't have any rupees. Um, bye. <laughs> I, I don't have any of those kind of rupees, man. I'd rather have clothes and stuff. I'm gonna go sell some stuff. Maybe. Where was that little store at? This is that little clothing store. What's over here? 
Sleep in your bed. Sleep in that bed right there. Where are you running to? Where are you running to? <laughs> secret art. Yes, secret art. Long ago, a wise master known simply as the Swordsman was enshrined right in this village, no less. It said that if you overcome his trial, you will master the sacred art of defense. However, no one knows exactly what this trial entails. This is why I must stay vigilant in my training, so that I am ready whenever this trial presents itself to me. Okay, dokie. Okay, dokie. So here's the t-shirt shop, right there, uh, it's footsteps, so if I go slowly, or if I crouch, then and then if I run, it gets big. So you sneak up on people. Alright, this is where I came in at. That's the old lady. Alright, so I'm supposed to get 20 rupees. I was going to sell some stuff, but I don't have any carrots. Uh, what do you do? Welcome. Yeah. Can't remember the last time I have a customer. Um, okay. Oh. <laughs> what are you going to sell me? Uh, let's see, how many of these things can I get rid of? I can sell, like, all of that. <laughs> like, all of them. 130 rupees, that's great. <laughs> cool. Oh. Thank you, welcome again. Fire arrows. Fire arrows. How many fire arrows do I have? <laughs> How many fire arrows do I have? Like two? Probably need to just buy some. Oh wait, they're 20 rupees a piece? No, never pay. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. They want me to stay at the hotel, so I'll stay at the hotel for the night. It's like the lady said, I should stay at the hotel for the night. I can cook something. I'm up past my bedtime, I hear of a strange fountain. Yada, yada, yada. If you're looking for an adventure, why not bring some food just to cover your bases? So I'm selling a few things. I'll take a look. Um, oh. ingredients. Alright, um, well, I don't have enough rupees, my bro, but Ooh. if I sell you one of these, I'll sell you like. Ten of those. Oh. Then I could buy your uh, your crab from you. Ooh. The energy 
shed a crab beetle. And I can still spend the night. Yeah, I'll buy that. Alright, cool. So, uh, let's see. We're going to... Still hopefully, uh, goodbye. Uh, how many rupees do I have? How many rupees? 27, so I can still spend the night here until the morning time. So, I'm gonna come over here, save the system. Or, save the game. Save. And then I'm going to... Yes. Oh. Regular bed, the soft bed, what's the difference? Uh... More Ooh. energized. Alright. I'll just take the regular oh. bed. When should I wake you? Um, morning. Mm. Alrighty. Let's mm. take a nap in the game. I think this is a uh, good spot to uh, actually call it a night. Um, for the uh, game, it's 5 a.m. Good morning. So, it's 5 a.m., we're going to save the game, we're going to go to Lottery Land, and uh, we are going to play a few lottery tickets, and uh, proceed on from there. I uh, hope that sounds like a good idea. Lottery Land. I like Lottery Land. Uh, like I said, uh, it's been about two and a half hours over here playing this game, and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. As I certainly am enjoying it. Don't overlook multipliers. I know. I know. I kept that ticket. I kept that ticket, actually. It's sitting somewhere over there. I kept that ticket. Just so that I would uh, have a reminder when I cashed it in. Like, this idiot forgot about multipliers. <laughs> Alright, so let us move our screens around so we can see what we're doing, everybody. Okay, here we go. And we can move this over here. Make it a little bit smaller. I was able to play uh, the uh, up and down map today. On Beat Saber. I don't know if you were around for that. Let's go to Lottery Land. And let's play some music. There we go. You heard it. Yeah, I've got to do some major editing on that video. Uh, i got to cut out some. See, I know i got to cut out Hanson and send it to you. Um, it was an interesting map. I mean, it wasn't, I don't know. I don't know. I think I want to play it again, honestly. I think I want to play it again before I, before I enter. Because, I mean, you know. Alright, let's see what we can win here. Yesterday, we just had these kind of in a pile randomly, and we're just going to keep on doing that. <coughs> Just in the same order that we had them in yesterday, y'all. So, we need some hurricane. I've made this slightly easier, hopefully. There we go. Okie dokie, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. Let us win money. Let's turn the can of corn around. Hashtag corn on stream. Don't forget about the multipliers. Double duckies and 12s. Double duckies and 12s. Those are good numbers. Oh, but there's the 23. Oh, it's going to be one of them. 
Yep. 24, 22, 23, 24, 21. Yep. It's going to be one of them. That's all right. This could still have a jumbo on it <laughs> that I can forget about. You know, forget about the fifty dollars. There's the twenty. That makes the small straight, I guess. Oh, the twenty-six is right there. right there maybe let me scoot that that way now I actually feel like I'm talking into a microphone all right 25 and kind of ignorant you don't care what people say 28 no bueno move that over there red hot chilies let's go let's go here we go All right, winning numbers. Let's see what we got. 16 and 1. Got the number 20. Got excited over that 6, but there's no 1 attached to it. 28. Lucky number 13. Number four. One hell of a straight. I know, right? 24. I wish it was uh, straight into 20 grand or how much ever I can win on that thing. $50,000. That'd be great. You can do a lot with $50,000. 11. And a 14. Kaboom. Nothing on that one. Nothing on that one. I wasn't expecting much because, like I said, we did hit on these uh, earlier, uh, you know, with the, the 50. So, uh, I'm not too terribly concerned. You know what I'm saying? But, here we go. Oh, this can of corn. Alright. A number 12 and a number 17. Number 12 and 17. Here we go. Hey, 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 hey. 21. Oh. Kind of, that's kind of freaky. With all them zeros and all them twos and ones being so close together. Where is the sweet spot on the ticket? Or on the corn. 15. Alright, here we go. That's the spot right there. And there's a 19. Number 25. And number 29. Number 13, one away. 16, one away. 18, there it goes, the straight. Double duckies. And. The 27. Does that mean. This one might be the one, guys. We'll break out the true star of the show, Henry Vacuum, of course. Clean up this little tiny lottery mess that we've made so far. Who's the true star of the show? I wasn't expecting much on these. These are the tickets that I had from the same batch on yesterday. Um, in fact, I've got... All, I got all brand new tickets, so I kind of expected off of all the hits from yesterday, I expected most of these to be losers, so that's why we got these. So, here we go! Four. 
419. And they owe me one, right? Uh, let's see. It's 26 right there. And a number 18, one away. A number 20, one away. A number 6, two away. 17, two away. Number 30, the 11. Number 13, right next to it. A number 3, and a number 28. Alright, well, as expected, that wasn't doing much, so we're gonna move on to these uh, little double doublers. I like playing these little double doublers. They're uh, they're fun little tickets. They're uh, just you know symbols, matching numbers, match one number. You get uh, four chances to win. Just little dollar tickets. Uh, I like to play because you always double up. I I have doubled up on the money, and they're new. So I'm looking for a number ten. Let's see if we got a number ten. On. We got a number three. They make a mess, though. They make a mess. There's a number 20. Number 18. And a number five right there. See all that? Look at that. Look at that mess. Look at that mess. Henry, where are you at, bud? Henry, dude. Oh, jeez. Alright. I want to play that other one. I'm just curious. I normally don't buy dollar tickets. This is B got these. Yes. She, uh, a couple extra bucks left over. Which is cool. I don't mind playing dollar tickets every now and then. Yeah. Nothing. Make a huge mess. We've actually won on these guys, surprisingly enough. But Henry loves you for it, yeah. So, alright, I've been interested in these. These red hot riches right here. I've actually got a Alright, so Red Hot Riches went up to $200,000. Let me yank some of these off here. And uh, let me see how you play them. How do you even play this thing? I don't even know. Let's see. Uh, match any of your numbers to any of the winning numbers. Win the prize shown for that number. Get a hot symbol. Win that prize. Get a $100 symbol. Win 100 bucks. Went up to 200 grand. Okay, that would get me moved. To where I need to move to or want to move to. One in 4.5. These are $5 tickets. Yes. These are $5 tickets. Don't know if there's any money on them. Still hadn't been able to look up these. Um, I haven't tried to look them up. But uh, uh, I don't know if there's any money left on these either. But hey. I mean every take it is a chance this is 25 24 25 and 26 start at uh, start at 26 and work our way down oh where do you guys want to start actually where do y'all want to start oh, I don't care I'm gonna scratch one or two of them anyway Twinky five, it is. All right, right in the middle. Let us win money. Let us win money because it's fun. All right, thirty-eight. 
42. 13. 23. All right, so I have a 42 high score in Beat Saber. 13 is a lucky number, and 38 is pretty good, too. So I'm, I'm happy with that selection. Uh, 27 is what we got so far. A number 15 next. A 44, two away. 43, one away. Number 12, one away. 24, one away. 16, I think, I uh, seriously, I think this dude goes in there and buys these tickets one at a time out of the machine and waits until he wins and then just like leave. I swear that's how he plays this. 21, 45, 29 right there, got a 36 right there, a 41 which is a one away, come on big symbol, 46. And a 34. Not happy on that one, so that's okay. I'm going to play another one, though. Play 24 now. Play 24. I feel like gambling a little bit tonight, so... Feeling like uh, gambling a little bit tonight. 23... 48 33 and the number 12 all right here we go we got our numbers now we just gotta now I just gotta match them 41 there's the double duckies from the other ticket that we needed 19. 27, 26, no, 32 is not a 23 or a 33, unfortunately, 11's not gonna happen, 21, nah, not looking good on this one either, 37, 35, come on, come on. 48, 48 to match, finally. We got a winner. Whew, about time. It's about time. 48 and 48. Let's hope it's big money, man. 25. 29. I was afraid we were going to have a cold night, man. I didn't want to have a cold night, but it would have made for a hot tomorrow. Alright, so. You say 20 bucks? Alright. Let's check it out. Take it. But hey man, five bucks is five bucks. It's better than absolutely nothing, right? So we're gonna take that one and uh, throw it with our, our our $50 jumbo winner right there. So that'll work, man. I'll take it. I will take it. I'll take it. Uh, it's almost midnight where I'm at, so uh, I'm going to call it a night, guys. It's been real. It's been fun. I'm uh, happy that you're all able to, you know, hang out with me and have fun and uh, do all the fun stuff. So uh, thanks for joining me. I do appreciate it. Um, I'll see you tomorrow um, on Twitch, uh, hopefully during the daytime if I'm able to stream. 
Uh, make sure you get your notifications on that uh, turned on if you want to be notified, as well as the Discord. Um, and um, yeah, tomorrow night, sometime around 8:30 p.m., 9 o'clock, sometime around there, uh, we're either going to pick up on Zelda or we're going to play some Mario Maker, one or the other. I uh, have not decided. Um, I do have VR games uh, to play. I've got Pistol Whip. I've got uh, Super Shot or Super Hot, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've got a ton of VR games if y'all want to play virtual reality on uh, on the channel um, on YouTube we can do that um, it seems like the virtual reality streams uh, nobody uh, or not nobody but a lot of people preferred um, Mario and uh, Zelda and Nintendo over the VR so I have been separating that over off the Twitch but if it's something that you're interested in let me know all six people watching right now, you all have a wonderful evening, including my two bots. So that means all four of y'all have a wonderful night, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out, guys. Much love.